Hi everyone. So in this class, what we're going to do is a comparison between past continuous and past simple, just so you understand the difference and how they are used together regularly to create sequences of events. So, an example, I was walking home when I met Jack. I was walking home when I met Jack. There's that word when again. When is a word that you will use and you will hear and you will see used very, very frequently in the past continuous because it, when allows us to sequence the timing of the events. I was walking home when I met Jack. Past continuous, I was walking home when, followed by simple past. So we're sequencing an event of walking home and during that time, you're meeting Jack. Let's compare that to past simple. I walked home after the match yesterday. I walked home after the match yesterday. Notice with the past simple, we have our time marker of yesterday. She was watching TV when I arrived home. She was watching TV, past continuous, when I arrived home, past simple. Compared to, she watched a lot of TV yesterday. Okay, so you, you're going to find that the past continuous and past simple are used very, very commonly together, yeah? all the time to sequence events. Let me now introduce you to a thing called inversion. Okay, inversion just means taking two components or two things and swapping around the order. So we're swapping the order of information. So we have a sentence that is basically past continuous plus past simple but we've changed the order of the information. So instead of having when in the center, when is at the beginning of the sentence. So when she arrived home, we were already eating dinner. When she arrived home, we were already eating dinner. Yeah? So this is inversion. And inversion is a great thing because inversion allows you to say exactly the same thing, but in a different way. You're putting the order of the information slightly differently, which gives you more variety. So this sentence here, I could say, we were already eating dinner when she arrived home. But that's the same as this one. I was walking home when she was watching TV when. So this sentence is different. There's more variety. And variety, um, learning how to use Little things like inversion allows you to add a lot more variety um, to your sentences and also to your speech, which makes you sound more fluent. Okay, now two verbs, the verb to want and the verb to know, are two verbs that you will never use in the past continuous. I was wanting and I was knowing, completely wrong. We will never use these two verbs in the past simple. I want and I know. 